Hey guys, welcome back. First, please excuse this boo boo I got. I literally fried my skin off, I know, but yeah. So, first, we're gonna be using the baby skin um, primer, and this is by Maybelline. And I just love this primer, it just makes the application process so much easier. And now I'm going to take my foundation <laughs> and this is the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation and this is in the shade 362 and the other one is 355 Coconut and I mix these two because one shade is either too light and the other is too dark so I figure mixing them and I will get a decent nice shade. So now moving on to the hardest part for me which are my eyebrows. I pre-did them off camera. Um, what made it made this video much more shorter so i'm just going to take my two maybelline fit me concealer and one is in the shade 350 and the other is 355 and i like to go in with the lighter shade underneath my eyebrows so that way i could get that highlight look without overdoing it and then i like to go in with the darker shade which will be 355 and i like to go on top and that's just help clean up the eyebrows and make it blend more into my skin I promise you, they are not the same color concealer. One is lighter than the other. Um, they just look like the same color on camera, which is pretty weird to me, but I promise you they're not the same color. <laughs> and I really do like these concealers. They blend out so flawlessly, and I love the end of results. Like, yes, they are bomb diggity. So I'm going to take this Instant Age Rewind Concealer and I, I think the design of this concealer is so dope of having that sponge like material on the top which I think helps blend out the concealer a bit more before you actually go in and blend it which I think that's dope and cool but I like to take this concealer first as like a base um, due to the shade and the coverage it does give me like a light coverage but I love the consistency of this concealer. It's so movable and lightweight. Like, yeah. So now I'm going to go in with a different concealer. And this is their Master Conceal. And I like this concealer. Um, I love the shade of it. Um, but I wouldn't wear it alone due to the fact that it is very lightweight. And it's very light. So. And then I'm just going to go back in with that Fit Me Maybelline Concealer. And this is in the shade 355. And I'm just going to go around the perimeters of that concealer. And this way it will help blend evenly into my skin and don't have any harsh lines. This next step is very optional, but I personally like to let my concealer dry down and set a bit before I blend it out. And I learned this trick from Jackie Ina. <laughs> So now I'm just going to be blending it out with my beauty blender. After I'm done blending it out, I'm going to set everything with this powder. And this is the Maybelline Shine Free Powder. And y'all, this powder is amazing. Trust me, it's better than my Lord Mercier. I just love this powder. The way it blends out, the way it set my makeup, the way it keeps me looking throughout the day. It's just amazing. y'all just look at the powder against my skin tone amazing but now i'm going to take this maybelline fit me press powder and this is in the shade 355 and i'm just going to dust away the powder and at the same time setting all the places that i haven't set with powder yet and this is just going to help give me a smooth matte finish so i did complete the rest of my makeup off camera and the fact that the rest of the products were not Maybelline products.
all right that's it for today's video guys thank you hope you guys enjoyed this look um some of the products um i used off camera were not by maybelline but they're still very affordable so i'll leave those in the description box down below and this video is not sponsored by maybelline so yeah i just like their products and i have a lot of it so yeah hopefully you guys like this video please don't forget to like share and subscribe and yeah check out part two to this because i'm gonna do my hair and it'll be a part two. Bye.